Hello everybody, my name is Muhammad al Dalami. In this video, I'm going to explain different types of prezygotic isolation mechanisms. In this video, I'm going to explain five different types of prezygotic isolation mechanisms. The first type will be mechanical isolation. Mechanical isolation is the incompatibility of sexual organs. They just do not fit together. As an example for mechanical isolation will be in some snail species. The direction of shell coiling is controlled by a signal gene. Snails with left coiling shells cannot mate with snails having right coiling shells. The second type will be temporal isolation. Similar species may be physically compatible, but may still not reproduce due to mating seasons, being different times of the year. As an example of temporal isolation will be the red-legged frog, as you can see it on the left picture. Breeding season lasts from January to March. The closely related yellow-legged frog, as you can see it on the right picture, breeds from late March through May. The third type will be behavioral isolation. Mating rituals along with other necessary mating behaviors, like mating calls, are very necessary for males and females of the same species to indicate it is time to sexually reproduce. As an example for behavioral isolation will be the blue-footed bobby bird has a very elaborate mating. The males must do to woo the female. The fourth type is habitat isolation. The geographic range of two species overlap, but their ecological needs or breeding requirements differ enough to cause reproductive isolation. As an example for habitat isolation will be in central and northern California. The red-legged frog breeds in fast-moving empirical streams. Artificially introduced bullfrogs breed in permanent ponds. The last type we can explain it in this video will be gametic isolation. The sperm and egg are not compatible. This fertilization cannot occur and the zygote will not form. The sperm may not even be attracted to the egg due to the chemical signals released by the egg. Other times, the sperm just cannot penetrate the egg because of its own chemical makeup. And finally, this is our references. We got our information from, as you can see, there are only two references. Thank you very much for watching the video.